What's going on everybody? My name is Phantom Medic and today I'm going to be telling you all the best, well not the best, but every single way you can earn gems currently in Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade. Now, if you're like me, you should have, if not, <laughs> if not have, little gems on your account. Because, well, look, you're trying to pull the new, you're trying to pull the SSR Nobari, you're trying to pull, you're trying to pull the Black Flash Yuji Itadori. So it makes sense as to why you have no gems, just like me. However, I'm going to be showing you every single way you can earn cubes in this game. So first things first, let's get on to the first way and well, technically the most easiest no, way to earn cubes in this game. So of course you are going to be earning cubes from story mode. Now I think this is the most obvious way to earn gems from completing each and every story mode. This is standard for like any gacha game that has a storyline, especially an IP based gacha game. So yeah, there's not really much to say on this you get 50 cubes for each quest you finish that's gonna total up to a lot of cubes at the end at once you reach the current end for the chapters you're gonna be getting a lot of gems from that so yeah story mode is the most obvious and technically the easiest depending on how you level up your characters it'll be easy it varies from person to person but yeah the most obvious way you also get 1500 cubes from reaching chapter 7 i completely forgot that slipped to my mind somehow but yeah you also get a thousand five hundred cubes from reaching chapter seven next up is going to be as you can see down here you have enhancement quests you have cursed object collection so let's get let's just go into one of them for example and show it as to how you can get cubes from this now as you can see here we have these stages here so this is where you get like materials to like like will strengthen your units so if we just press on this real quick we just press on this real quick as you can see right down there in the reward section you get 30 cubes from getting three stars on the stages now yeah this is another way you can get cubes if you just do the maths real quick that's 30 60 90 120 150 180 gems from completing every single from getting three stars on every single stage this is also for the enhancement quest as well which has literally three of each so as you can see i already completed two you get 30 from this however so 30 60 90 120 so 120 from all three of this hold on let load up 120 from all three of this you're getting pretty decent amount of gems i'm not gonna lie right this is pretty decent amount of gems however you're not going to be able to complete all of them in one go because the curse point the curse power goes up tremendously for every stage you complete so this is not something you can just one and done and just go on about your day but however this is another way for you to get curse uh not curse cubes from this game next up you're going to be getting cubes from this current event that's going on this is a story event called a homesick horizon you literally will see this once you press uh once you press the story it'll literally be right next to the chapters this is another way to get uh cubes from this game sorry i'm calling it, i'm gonna call it gems it's, it's easier this is another way you're gonna be getting gems so if we just go on to one mission real quick as you can see instead of 50 like this actual story you're getting 30 from each stage as you can see we have a bunch of quests as you see we have about eight quests here it's just eight however there is also a hard mode which i can't go on to right now which should have which should function the same way where you have to complete three stars and you get cubes from them this is another way to get cubes from the game pretty cool pretty cool next up is going to be the character ranks now as you can see there's a bunch of characters here hell some characters that aren't even in the game yet but let's go let's example let's go on my for example if we go on to her character missions as you can see we get 10 gems from increasing let's increasing her for example level so once you reach level 50 you get 10 you get 20 cubes you go down there's a lot there's specific stuff you have to do for the character which will unlock the mission get the gem so on and so forth so this is another way i wouldn't recommend like focusing on this this is something you gradually get done by literally just increasing your character it's like just just maxing out your character's overall strength level this is something you get done progressively so i wouldn't be too focused on this per se but it is another way to get cubes from this game next up is the novice missions now as you can see here that was dirty if we go here okay we're on day three that was 30 day two 30 
day one so day one you get actually get a thousand cubes and you get 30 cubes so by now i think most people should have this done already so there's nothing to worry about but if we go you get 30 30 30 and so on and so forth there's another way to get cubes however you oh this is also something you progressively get done <clears throat> this isn't something you're gonna be super focused on this is something you're gonna be just playing the game and eventually you'll be like oh shoot i completed the mission let me collect my cubes so i wouldn't be too focused on this even though it's 30 each which will accumulate to a lot of cubes once you're done you also get a guaranteed ssr ticket once you're done with this which is another great thing so because if you didn't know we also have login bonuses that also give us cubes that, that gives us like almost a, around the, like a guaranteed 10 pull and we also get a guaranteed ssr ticket from the 50 million player login bonus if i do remember at day seven you get a guaranteed ssr ticket so not only are you getting an ssr ticket from this but you're also getting an ssr ticket from the login bonus as well so this is why i would recommend not pulling but that's for another video next up is going to be the new player invitation now as you can see you can complete missions to earn up to six thousand cubes that should be around like 20 pulls worth of cubes which is pretty cool but as you can see if we go on to invitation missions real quick we have missions here now again this is hella specific so it, it varies it depends if you want to do it or not but you would have to invite people to get these missions so as you can see you have to invite friends and clear mission chapter two let's go it's up to six people it's for a hundred days so you can literally just phone up any of your friends if you do have any and get the missions done however i might not do this because it's a pain and i'm not and i don't want to do it really but yeah this is another way you can get gems also if you clearly see in the corner here you have enter invitation code now if i'm being honest go on twitter and go under the replies of any jujutsu kaisen tweet any jujutsu kaisen fans of Pori tweet and you'll see somebody that has their code now if they match up with the server you're currently in for example i'm in north america so if i get a code from somebody on twitter that's also from north america you also get i can't remember how much specifically you get but i think it's around 100 i may be wrong but i think it was around 100 so that's another way you can also get cubes from this specifically so don't forget to do that there is also the battle pass now i did check this see how much cubes we do get from this and we do get 400 cubes each battle pass so the first 200 is going to be at level 10 and the second 100 is going to be at level 15 but yeah this is another way and i think last but not least is going to be the missions now as you can clearly see daily you get 30 gems daily now that doesn't sound crazy at first but trust me once you continuously save up and do the daily missions those are going to accumulate towards your 80 pulls you probably want to save towards a specific unit that's coming up again that's for another video i will be talking about that but yes this is daily you get 30 gems daily so like every single reset this is for norm however normal missions is where you get the gems of gems you know so as you can clearly see clear main story chapter 3 episode 10 you get 30 so you're getting you're getting a lot of gems you're getting a lot of gems from just doing a lot of these as you can clearly see that is a lot of gems for example clear jp quest 6 with three stars so that also includes so if you go so hold on let's go back real quick so if you go on to quest real quick let's go if you go on to quest as you can see enhancement quest cursed object collection now for the jp quest that's in this so you want to get three stars basically you want to get three stars on every single mission in this right here Let's go on it real quick. You want to get three stars each okay. on this to get those quests done. So not only are getting, not only are getting 50 gems or 30 gems from doing all of this, the, there is additional gems in the missions for you once you complete it. So that's even more gems on top of that. But yeah, that's the normal missions for you. Uh, let's go to the time limit. Uh, there's nothing here. And well, we do have the event missions. I don't think those give gems at all. I think they're just specifically for the event. Yeah, so I was right. They're just specifically for the event. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, I did not know this. I actually did not know this. I didn't really check the event missions. But as we can see here, reset the prize pool one time. Not specifically for in the challenge. I don't know if I'll make a specific video dedicated to the event. Don't know yet. But as you can see, we can reset the prize pool one time. Actually, let's just go on it. Why don't we just go on it? So, right. As you can see here. So, there's a currency for the event that you get throughout playing the event. And once you get all the prizes from this event, you can reset the prize pool, which will give you 150 cubes, just like that, which is pretty insane if you, if you ask me. 
then you have clear any formidable battle on normal i'm being honest the normal missions are pretty easy so just get this done i'm being honest you can just focus on this event since the event is limited this event is only staying here for 11 days so like almost two weeks so i would recommend getting this done i will be getting this done as well right after this but yes anyways i think that's gonna be it i don't believe there's any other way to get cubes in the game currently i think we will have to wait for yeah we're gonna have to wait for more events to drop more chapters to drop because i do believe this game will be going into the manga as well once it catches up with the anime which i'm honestly excited for i'm all in for it i'm excited for some units to be dropping i will be pulling them but that's gonna be it for this video i do hope this video was helpful and it provided more info on ways to get cubes in this game basically because i know looking at it from just just looking at it with no info it's good it seems like it's gonna be hard to get cubes in this game but i guarantee you currently you're gonna be getting a lot of gems if you just play there's no worry there and we're also getting gems uh, again as i said from the lock and rewards so you don't gotta worry but yeah make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next jujutsu kaisen phantom parade video signing off